What if I told you there is a way to get out of those pesky cycles that you get into where you repeat the same problem over and over? It's so frustrating. You know better. You know you shouldn't date that guy or you know, say that thing to your partner and yet, blah, there it is again. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Natalie Barr. I'm a clinical psychologist and a life transition expert. And on Learn to Love Your Story, I try and help women in midlife live their best life. And one of the ways that I try to accomplish that is by helping you break patterns just like that. Now let's really talk about what's happening there. Remember, I mean, we are totally controlled by our brain and nervous system. That is the executive functioning. It's the computer that tells us what to do and how to do things. And there are certainly programs that we're aware of that are in the front of us, like what we're doing right now. But there's also things like it makes your heart run and it makes your lungs take breath in and out that you don't have to think about consciously, right? The brain is a funny thing. It really wants to be as efficient as it can, but sometimes in being efficient, it can be a little lazy. <laughs> so these patterns that you're repeating, they're not part of your conscious awareness, and that is why they repeat. Once they happen, clearly you can evaluate, this does not help me, why do I keep doing this? How to change that though, right? Well, that is where Learn to Love Your Story really shines. There's a five-step process, a course online in our learntolovyourstory.com waiting for you right now to help you out of these old pesky patterns. We also have group coaching. And if you want to do stuff for free, go over and sign up for our next masterclass where we'll go over these five things. What are they? Self-awareness is the first step. Coming out of not knowing what we're doing, not seeing the signs that are going to send us down this pesky old pattern, that's where you start. But you also need to combine that with the second step, which is having compassion for yourself, being really kind and understanding of yourself as you start to learn these patterns. Because otherwise, what you're likely to do is learn the pattern, but be really pissed off at yourself that you're doing it yet again, right? So showing up compassionately is just a way to both notice it and give yourself some grace about the fact that you're noticing it. The third step is really about learning what social programming is feeding this. What are some of the definitions that you define your life by or you define your behavior or others' behavior by that are interfering with your ability to shift this particular pesky pattern? And then I go into the radical notion that self-care is the most selfless act that you can do. Now, I know that especially for women in midlife, there's kind of this idea that if I put myself first, I'm being selfish. Uh -uh. In my program, I'm going to make it real clear to you that by putting yourself first, you are the most selfless person in your life. Because when you care for the thing that cares for the people in your life, then it's a better product that you're giving them. If you're caring for yourself first, you're a better mom and a better friend and a better wife and a better community member, right? It makes sense when we say it on the surface, but there is a pesky pattern that you're going to have to overcome, which is believing that that is selfish, which is why I order the other three first to help you already see where you've thought of your self-care as a selfish pattern and you will be able to change it. Then the last step is really kind of formulating all of this together into what we call in my field a growth mindset. Being open to change at all times. Being comfortable in the flux of life. You don't have to control things. You don't have to know what's coming up next to be comfortable. You can be comfortable not knowing a dang thing that's coming up next. And that too is one of those pesky patterns we get in where we believe if I just have all my ducks in a row, I'll be fine. Well, COVID has thrown that out the door, just saying, and reminded us that we have less control than we really think that we do, right? So what I want you to do is head over to learntoloveyourstory.com right now. Look at my free stuff, sign up for one of my online programs, join my next masterclass, and let's help you get out of those pesky patterns.